What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're looking at Valkyrie. Um, she is an absolute banger. So if you pulled up, big congrats to you. And me and Valk, we got history. Um, she was actually the first legendary champion I pulled. Um, this is like way back when I was a massive noob. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. And yeah, there was a 10 times on. I had one sacred and it was my first sacred as well. And we went for it and we got Valkyrie. And she carried my account. I was using her in every single dungeon and it got me all the way up to stage 20 on all the dungeons. And I was using her on every single dungeon as well. And she was also in my clan boss team as well. So such a solid champion for content. And what we're going to do is we will start with her skills. We've got three builds, uh, two for P uh, sorry, two for arena and then one build for PVE content. So first off, skills, uh, jealousy. This champion's turn meter will be increased by 10% each time an enemy champion places a buff. Each champion will have their turn meter decreased by 10% for each buff they receive. So Valkyrie is a really good counter to any champion that throws out loads of buffs. So Cephi and Duchess are like two of the big ones that I can think of that she counters. So what will happen is, she, uh, you know, Duchess, she'll buff up the team. They get all these lovely buffs. But then what happens is Valkyrie will cut in because her team meter has been boosted and she will push back the turn meter of everyone that's on the team. Her A2, which is like her most famous ability, stand firm, attacks all enemies and places a shield buff on all allies for three turns and then an AoE counterattack buff on all allies for two turns. The shield and the damage inflicted are proportional to this champion's defense. So that means the more defense she has, the more damage she'll do. But also it means that you'll have bigger shields. So what you want to do is stack as much defense on her so you get big fat shields. Um, and at the um, AoE counterattack, there's only three champions in the game that can do this. So I think Valkyrie, um, Skullcrusher and Marta, they're the only three champions that can do it. And they've been in the game for probably like four years. And basically, playing them like, whoa, whoa, this is broken. This is OP. We will never release another champion that um, has an AoE counterattack buff. And it's true. They have kept to their word and they have not released a champion since that can do this. Then her A1 is not anything special, um, but it does attack and one enemy two times and decreases turn meter by 10% on each hit if the target has buffs. So if they've got buffs on them, that means you can push back their turn meter by 20%, which is pretty huge. Um, but it's not, it's not like nothing, it's nothing like game changing or like proper amazing. All right. So this is we're gonna look at the first build, and this is my nuke valk. Um, she can be used for arena, however, I feel that she doesn't really fill that role great. Um, in live arena, I try I was like testing it out, and what would happen is um, they would either ban my other Nuka, so then I only would have, you know, my Nuke Valk, and she was not strong enough to take out like a Pytheon or a Duchess, and they'd just cycle back around and revive the team. So, not, I mean, the other option is that what you could do is you bring in two Nukas, and then you have to bring in Valkyrie as a third Nuke, um, but you got to make sure you've got two strong um, other supports, otherwise it's really, it's really not going to work. But um, this build is great for PvE. Um, you know, I'm using her in Finite Hard at the moment, so we'll do a run later and check that out. So gloves, we got crit damage, defense on the chest and defense on the boots, defense on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then defense on the banner. Uh, you could switch out this banner for an accuracy one just to help with uh, manipulating turn meter. So we'll push back the turn meter on her jealousy passive. Um, so tail stats, we got 39k HP, um, 6k defense, defense. I would like to be a bit higher around sort of seven, seven K is like a good, like, but obviously a good starting point, I'd say for like a, a new account would be like four or five K. And then as you progress, you want to sort of get to five K, six K and then 7.5 K is sort of like where you're maxing out. But, um, yeah, that'll give you really, you know, really big shields and also help with damage. 
She's a little bit slow. Um, I'd like her to be like 200 to 220. Um, because you'll be using her when you're carrying teams that have got loads of buffs, you know, it doesn't matter as much because she'll just gain loads of her meter from all those buffs. Um, crit rate, of course, we want it to be crit capped. As much crit damage as possible, so 275 crit. Um, resistance and accuracy, she actually benefits from both these stats. Uh, Valkyrie is one of those unique champions where almost every stat is good on her. Um, the only one's like, she actually benefits a little bit from attack on her A1, but other than that, it doesn't really help. But almost every stat is useful for her. Like if you put loads of resistance on her, she's unstoppable. She can't be CC'd and it means that you can get those shields and those counter attacks out on your teammates. Um, but then also accuracy is really good on her because then you can manipulate Termia. So it's up to you how you want to sort of mix it up and choose what you think is best. Um, so four blessings for PvE and nuke um valk soul reap is absolutely amazing um however it's like one of those things where until you sort of get to like four stars or five stars it doesn't really start to benefit her that much but it, well the first three stars don't benefit her that much but then when you get to four and five that's when you start to feel the benefits and that's when she can start going to town on people uh so masteries yes yeah, uh, so Left hand side offense tree. This is like standard um, nuka build. You know, uh, ruthless ambush. The first hit is going to do more damage by eight um, percent. Opportunist as well. So if we've got any stuns or sleeps on the enemy, that means we're going to do more damage as well. Uh, singled out. You know, so if they got less HP, we're going to do more damage. And then helm smasher. Just you know, this is going to help us ignore defense and do even more damage. But this is just like. This offense tree here, this is just like very, very standard for most nukers. Um, normally, you know, you'd go on a defense tree, but not with Valkyrie. So because of, um, we want to go in support tree. Um, so I chose to take accuracy again, just to help get that um, turn meter manipulation. Then we want to make our shields as big as possible with shield bearer. Uh, rapid response is great as well. So this has a chance to increase our turn meter when the shields and the counter attacks fall off. And then, of course, you want to take Lasting Gift so we get counter-attack and those shields for as many turns as possible. So that is Valkyrie number one. Let's look at Valkyrie number two and number three. So this is Valkyrie number two, and she is in Untouchable and Perception. And this build is all about um, abusing that Jealousy passive and her A1. So what we do with this build is we want high accuracy, um, lots of speed, and as much defense as possible. So gloves, we've got defense on the gloves, uh, defense on the chest, and defense on the boots, defense on the ring, defense on the amulet with uh, rolls in accuracy, and then accuracy on the banner. And again, this banner is not great. At the time, it's just the best that I have. So I would like to have a little bit more speed on her. So total stats, 36k HP. Again, I'd like that to sort of be a minimum 40k, but it's okay. We're doing all right. 6.4k uh, defense, very nice. 222 speed. And she's not, you know, I've not fully glyphed her out and there's so much room for improvement here. Um, ideally, I'd like this to be like 250. So that means we can cut in earlier and also push back turn meter faster. Um, and yeah, then the only thing that we, we've got a little bit of resistance as well, which is nice. So that's going to help us keep on our immunity and also help us from being CC'd. And then you only need sort of around 430, well, about 400 accuracy. So we're not going to be pushing back the term ER of like high resistance champs, which are normally revivers like your Duchess, like your Sifi, uh, Pytheon as well. Those are champions that usually have high resistance, but this one is about um taking out like their debuffers their strippers their nukers so like prince kaimar who can strip it's very unlikely he's gonna have a lot of resistance on him so there's a very good chance that we're gonna be able to push back his turn meter and then champions that strip like madame sorry that strip and debuff like madame that's gonna push back her turn meter and then their nukers are probably gonna have like 200 resistance so that means we'll have a really good chance of pushing back all of their time years and giving us a lot of control over the fight. However, I'm not so keen on this build anymore. 
Um, it's still good. I still do use it. But because of stone skin, it's not as great as it used to be. This is like a more of an old school build. Um, but there's still times when I do use it in uh, Live Arena. Like a really classic combo I see a lot now is Prince Kaima and Lady Kimmy paired up together. So you can use her to cut in on them and to push back their turn meter. And of course, where else are you going to go? It's got to be Polymorph. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to mix it up, the other blessing that would be really good on her would be uh, Temple Chain. So that's giving you more turn meter manipulation for every active buff that they've got. So you can slow down the enemy team. Um, but Polymorph is so broken. Of course, it's the only option. It's what we're going for. Uh, Masteries. Um, so we've gone for support and defense for... Um, so this is like a control Valkyrie. And yeah, just sort of very standard stuff. Making sure we get Eguire for extra accuracy. And I've made a bit of a mistake here, actually. We shouldn't have gone for Law of Steel. We should have gone into Cycle of Magic and then gone into Lasting Gifts so we can get those shields for as long as possible. And that counter attack. Um, but yeah, but we're just doing turn meter manipulation and again, evil wire to control that manipulation as well. Defense tree, um, this is my favorite um mastery for arena. So if you ever can, you always want to take improved parody, uh, improve parry. Uh, it's gonna reduce the crit damage um that you receive, and it is a real lifesaver. Uh, rejuvenation as well, again, to increase those shields on ourself. Um, resurgence as well, good chance to remove um, a buff if we lose HP. And then delay on death just to make us even more tanky. So as you can see, I've not finished. Um, I just feel like she doesn't really benefit from any of these masteries. I guess you could take Cycle Revenge. Um, that, you know, because obviously we don't need retrib Retribution and we don't need Deterrence. You know, she brings the counterattack. We don't need it. We don't need it. Um, but Psycho Revenge is really good. Again, if we take a big hit, there's a good chance that we can increase our turn meter and cut in. Um, but I just feel like it's not 100% necessary. But yeah, definitely need, should be taking lasting gifts though. So out of all of them, this is my favorite build for Valkyrie. Um, if you're using her for Arena specifically, this is the build that I would be taking. Um, so we, she should be in full stone skin. I think I had to steal the defense gloves for um, Ultimate Death Knight. So he he got priority. I mean, he is just so broken that I just had to prioritize him over Valkyrie. She's still a really, really good champion though. Um, so yeah. So yeah, ideally you want her in full stone skin. Of course, we've got defense on the gloves and we want as much resistance as possible. Uh, resistance on the chest and a nice triple roll in speed on the chest and we've got speed on the boots as well so she's actually a little bit it's it's annoying i'd love for her to have more defense um yeah she needs more defense and more speed um but yeah uh ring um of course it should be defense defense on the um necklace but again it needs more resistance terrible rolls in resistance there so there's always room for improvement. This is a nice banner. You've got decent amount of speed and we've got um, a role in uh, the, the defense percentage as well. So her HP doesn't really matter here too much because we've got that stone skin. Um, yeah, so we're going to have about 5k defense again. Would love to bump this up and try, you know, I could definitely rebuild her and push this up to at least 6k. Um, speed is a little bit slow. I would probably like... I feel like I've built her for like, a, this was what sort of when stone skin first came out and you'd go for like a slow build. I mean, this build's still really good. Like I still use it and it still works. However, I still like, would like to push it to like sort of 230, 250. In between there, I think it's like a really good speed range. And we could do that with glyphs and a little bit of a re-gearing. Got a very decent amount of resistance at um, 610. But again, I could easily push this up with some glyphs and like some improvements on on gear as well like on the necklace uh, but yeah overall this is a solid build and it's 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 done a lot for me in live arena and i just want to quickly and also yes yeah, so accuracy as well so we've almost got no accuracy here i am prioritizing resistance over accuracy for this build we don't need to push back tamia for this one skills blessings we've not chosen just yet 
and I'm going to take Polymorph. Um, as soon as I can get this down to six star, that is just going to be insane. And we're not going to need any uh, accuracy. And it is just going to, you know, it is just going to be absolutely brutal. So Masteries. Um, again, just very sort of standard stuff going on in the defense side of things. And going into um, Unshakable. And yeah, we took um, Shadow Hill as well. So that can be useful if you sort of um, go down into like a two-on-two -two situation and you just want to try and keep Valkyrie alive just so you can um, get those, you know, get get those buffs off and then finish off the enemy with your Nuka. So that can be useful. Um, because she brings buffs as well, we're going to increase um, the resistance on our teammates as well, which which can help as well. Very, very useful. And again, support tree, very, very standard stuff going into Lasting Gifts. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Arena, um, showcase her there, and then I'm going to jump into PvE and um, show you her in Finite and just show you like the real power that she brings. Like She's really good in all dungeons. Like I said, like I was using it in every single dungeon up to stage 20. But e Finite as well, Like that's where I feel like she really shines and you can really see her abilities pop off. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's hop into Arena. And all right. So we're going to be running double nuke with the control Valkyrie. Um, so this is the one that's high speed and high accuracy. And we're going into Pytheon, Ultima Death Knight and Duchess. Hopefully this looks like it's going to be really annoying team like Pytheon and Duchess. Pair them up together. You get amazing damage and mitigation. Um, uh, and like the champions you want to pair Valkyrie up with are champions that have hard hitting A1s. So Liores, he hits hard with his A1. Um, Hepfrak as well has like a really, really strong A1. <laughs> yeah, just like insane. And this team's like, this is like a solid, like, I can see like their power level wasn't that strong, but this is like an insane team comp with, you know, they probably, they probably like gear on this account, but they definitely have the champions. And Valkyrie just makes it a lot easier. I do, I do really like to run double nuke with her. Um, but again, you know, any champion that has a strong A1 pairs up really nicely with Valkyrie. Okay, so this is a slightly nastier team with Duchess and Michelle. Um, we're gonna bring in we're gonna use the nuke valk this time, just so you can see the damage between nuke valk and Liores. And you'll see that, you know. Lures just stomps all over Valk when it comes to damage. Okay, so they're just taking all their turns. All right, so Valkyrie, A2, and we're getting sort of 8k, 5k on the tankier champions, and then like sort of 20 on the on the nukes, the more squishies. And Liores, all right, let's see the difference. Insane, like the damage you can't compare. And this is what I was testing out in Live Arena. So um, my Valkyrie goes like, against like a tanky Duchess. Valkyrie is going to do like 5 to 8k per hit, where Liores was doing like 20k, like minimum as a hit. And like he can easily go up to like sort of, he, it depends like what he's going against. Like tanky champion, sort of 20k to 40k. And then like squishy champions, sort of 30k to 60k so it can vary a lot but he's he's just take you know he's just blowing valkyrie out of the water when it comes to damage okay so we're going to build a go second team um i'm hoping my foley's got gear i can't remember but um yeah we should be all right and this is going to be the stone skin valkyrie who is going to get work done for us and like i said this is my favorite build out of all of them you know she can't be cc'd um she's bringing in great control Okay, so I've got a feeling that my um, that Foley was naked there, but this is cool. Um, hopefully, we can watch this and just gonna be oh, yeah. So I just want to like show you like Pythion as well. Like he's gonna be healing us up with that A one. He's gonna be getting loads of counter attacks in, which is just absolutely great. Push back the term here on Duchess. No, it's gonna be resisted. That's fine. We're going to revive. Guarantee that Ronda will go for Foley. Yep. 
oh, and she's she's gone for Valkyrie for some reason. Obviously, that's because of um, Affinity. And we'll just whack them super hard with the A3. And then we're going to finish off um, Duchess with the A1. Uh, one thing to notice is like, one thing I used to run actually is Mithala, Mithrala and Valkyrie together. Um, they pair up really, really nicely together. Um, Mithrala is actually a little bit of a counter to um, Valkyrie. Because what will happen is, and there are a few champions that do counter Valkyrie. So Mithrala, she'll throw out a Hex. And then what happens is you're doing counter attacks and you'll get Petrification on you. That just wipes you out of the fight. Uh, another champion as well that's a really good counter to Valkyrie is Mortu. So one of the reasons you don't want to run into Mortu is that he can either block buffs or if uh, you've got your counter attacks out, what happens is he'll do his AoE ability and then everyone on the team is going to start hitting Mortu. He soaks up all that damage and there's a really good chance you're going to unlock his peril and he'll start popping off and he's just going to wipe the floor with your team. So you've got to be real careful with that, guys. All right, so let's uh, hop into the dungeons. So we're doing stage five hard mode um, Fire Knight. And obviously this is one of the hardest pieces of content out in the game at the moment. Um, so this team that we're running, we've got Liores to wipe waves. We've got Necmo to boost her meter and manipulate the enemy with um, slows. We've got Gina, who's obviously a god when it comes to Fire Knight. Um, you know, he's doing insane damage. He's manipulating Termita. He's keeping the Fire Knight under wraps. And then, of course, we've got Valkyrie for big fat shields and those counterattacks. And we'll, we'll be looking at that later. And then I can't even remember this. Is it Longbeard? Then we've got Longbeard, um, who you were using for ally attacks to help us peel off those shields. So what you'll see is that um, Valkyrie, um, I think I've turned it off for this wave. So the second wave, she's not going to use counterattack. Uh, so obviously we want to save that for the boss. And yeah, Fire Knight, oh, I'm trying to, I want to work my way up to stage 10. It is really, really gear intensive and your roster needs to be so strong. Whoa, and they've almost taken out my Liores. That's, that's not good, guys. That's not good. Um, but hopefully he should be, we need him to survive this. Um, okay, yeah, we're good to go. He's gonna, he's got it. It's in the bag. Um, and there's a leech on the enemy as well. So, you know, he'll heal up. It's all good. All right, so we're on the boss. He's got 18 stacks. Um, so yeah, we're coming in hard. We've managed to take off 10. And that long beard, he is top tier for this. Um, but yeah, so we just need to try and get all these stacks off. There we go. And hopefully... All right, so we managed to get the slow off as well. I don't think... Um, oh, yeah, so Val, we are going to see Valk in action, I think. We're, hopefully, you'll see those shields protect us and the counterattack as well. But yeah, the timing was a little bit off there. But as you can see, we're getting counterattacks now, and that is going to help peel off those stacks. And yeah, so we're down to uh, 12 so again, we just need to cycle back around again. Um, my uh, long beard's not fully booked just yet. Um, so when he does that as well, that's going to reduce the cooldown of that ally attack, and that's really going to help. Okay, I just don't think we're, yeah, slightly out of tune. As long as G-Nut gets to cut in. Oh, damn. So, all right, he's going to chip away. But it's all right. All right, and we got the counter attack off, so we're protected now. So it's all good. And we're going in with the ally attack. So yeah, so there's a lot of things here that are bringing it all together to help keep the fire out under wraps. But seriously, uh, you know, Valkyrie, she can carry hard. She can carry you through this content. And this is the PVE build uh, Valk that we got going on right here. And yeah, I do feel like if she's a little bit faster, you know, she get more turns in. She's doing a decent amount of damage. Um, you know, she's done one mil damage. Lurus has done two. And obviously, he's got loads of AA hits. He hits hard. He's clearing the waves. And then Gina, obviously, he is just a boss killer. And obviously, that's why he's at three mil. But yeah, Valkyrie, an amazing champion. She's still strong. Um, she has, in my opinion, fallen off a little bit. But still such a great champion. If you pulled up, mega congrats to you. 
Um, you know, let me know where you guys are using her and, what, and how you guys have built her as well. Because I feel like she's one of those champions you can build her so many different ways. These are just my favorite builds for her. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.